Hey there, Mark Yegi here, and today we're going to talk about how your tribe attracts your vibe and vice versa. And let's start with defining what a vibe is, right? You've got to have a vibe. You know what I'm talking about, but the definition is a personal emotional state or the atmosphere of a place communicated to and felt by others. Okay, sounds a little complicated, but it's better to understand what you feel when you feel a vibe. You know what I'm talking about. It's the energy radiating from you, and it's the energy that is perceived by others. I remember a few years ago, I was listening to a lecture. It was an eight-hour lecture from a guy named Nassim Harriman, who was a physicist. And Nassim is this Italian guy. He's kind of funny. And he was describing how he went when he first started and he proved Einstein's theory of relativity out like another 30 something decimal places. So he furthered the proof of the theory of relativity. Pretty interesting guy, pretty brilliant guy too. But he also in his later years started to prove that mathematically every proton in the universe every proton and you know everything's made up of atoms and atoms all have protons in them and a piece of sand or my flesh or your desk is all made up of the same energy and each of them has a proton and all of those protons have an imprint of all of the other protons in them he proved this out mathematically what does that basically mean it means we're all connected so whether you believe it or mathematically, or if you know it in your heart, you know what I'm talking about. You know when you meet somebody and you have that connection. You know when you walk into a room and you're like, oh my God, these are my people. That's what we're going for. And so your vibe greatly influences who you're going to attract into your life. And so let's start by understanding what energy is. So we described a little bit mathematically what energy is, but it's really what is made up inside us. And it's made up of everything. Everything essentially is energy. We eat and we sleep to maintain our own energy, but energy is just constantly in flux and it's constantly there. By the way, you could put your hand through us if you spread us out because most of us is not solid. I know this is a weird concept, but we're made up of atoms and those atoms all have a lot of space between them and the electrons that go around them. And so we're primarily made up of space and energy. It's really interesting, right? And emotional states and surroundings impact our energy levels. And so we want to start to put ourselves into those areas. Maybe it's nature, maybe it's community, maybe it's a tribe, maybe it's a certain business, just that environment where you can sustain and gain energy levels. And some individuals, and you know who they are, they emit negative energy, right? And like they, like they suck the air out of the room and they walk in, they're like, look at me, or they have negative energy. You can just feel it when you're around them. I know I can. In fact, I've taken some really great care to eliminate negative people from my life because I just don't resonate with them. And I don't like myself and I don't like the way I feel when I'm around them. So I just very politely kind of exit myself from the situation or vice versa because they can impact energy. And so let's talk about it, how it relates to vibes and tribes. Okay. Our vibe plays in a role in who we associate with. Now there's historical significance of it, right? If you go way back, like it was really hard to sustain yourself on an individual basis. You needed tribes. You needed communities all working together, right, for survival, to go hunt, to go gather, to protect the young. Bees are like this, right? The bees all have their own job. The workers work. The queen gets fed all the time, I guess. And what they do is they're a collective and they work together and they work together on different projects. Some are worker bees, some are soldiers, some provide you know, nutrients to the queen, you know, they all have a job, but they're all in it together. That's the historical and nature significance of it as well. And, you know, friends and communities are no different. Their religions are like this. Communities are like this. They have like-minded collective interests and goals to get to where they want to go. Now, some people are skeptical and that's okay. I don't know if you are or not, but maybe this is a little woo-woo for you. Maybe it's a little bit too Eastern for your Western brain, but like open your mind and think about it for a second. You don't need to reject the energy as an idea of affecting a relationship. You know, if it's happened to you, you know that there are some people that you just like instantly click with. And you know, there's some people you're like, I don't think so. The clashes that we have can make us feel uneasy, right? And it's challenging to describe the feeling, right? We know it inside, but it's really hard to describe what great energy is, what negative energy is, what that attraction and energy is. That's because it's ethereal, right? It's not as Western as we would like it to believe, at least for our Western brains. So how do we go about attracting our vibe, right? Attracting our tribe too. Well, 
The answer is with positivity. And I've made other videos on importance of being positive. And if you maintain a positive outlook, you're going to attract that kind of stuff into your life, right? We're like antennas. We broadcast out a certain vibe, but we also receive back a certain vibe if they're tuned into our frequency. We've got to recognize and we've got to counteract negativity triggers. And we have to be positive internally and we have to be positive externally because they both matter. They matter a lot. Now, how can you enhance your vibe? Well, first of all, being positive is certainly it, but also being tough, being gritty, being tenacious, right? Having courage and determination and sticking to something because that's where we grow, right? We grow at the edges of our comfort zone. So if we can push that comfort zone when we sometimes we don't feel comfortable in doing it. We're going to grow as humans. We're going to feel great when we have that achievement, when we break through. The next one is what Dale Carnegie said in his amazing book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. It's principle number five, and it's called smile. It's the simplest principle. But if you smile like this, right, you know that that's an attractive thing, right? That's why actors and actresses have great smiles most of the time. And they're attractive to us, right? Because that smile radiates more than just the teeth. There's the energy behind that smile. There's the way the eyes crinkle up. There's a lot of things that are communicated with just a smile. And this is the third part of this is to always try to find the good in others, right? We're all geniuses at something. We're all virtuosos at something. And if you could just kind of make it your mission to find that thing and hone in on it, you're going to be a lot happier and they're going to want to be around you a bit more, right? Now, stress can have a terrible impact on our vibe. So we have to really focus on eliminating stress and that's going to change the way we vibe, right? If we can eliminate stress, we're going to vibe a lot more positively because it's not going to be tearing us up and using up our energy, right? So we have to find stress reducing activities, things like saunas, hot showers, massages, stretching, breathing, or, you know, whatever it is for you. For example, for me, I like to go work in my garden or I go take a nice motorcycle ride, something like that. That's how I reduce my stress. And I think it's important for us all to have our own rituals. Now, you also want to expand your horizon. Now, a guy named Mihai Chikset Mihai is the pioneer of this. He wrote a book in the 60s about flow, right? And you know, when you're out of your comfort zone, like I just talked about a little bit ago, you are moving towards flow because you're learning. So using that as a basis for knowledge, what does that mean? Well, it means we've got to start learning, got to continue to learn, right? Reading books, learning, conversing with groups, watching videos positive videos, learning videos, right? Traveling, expanding our comfort zone, expanding our horizons. That's going to help you move to that concept of flow. And you're going to attract those things into your life that you need. Expanding your experiences helps you relate to more people. And again, you've got to be out of your comfort zone when you do a lot of these things sometimes. You know, that's really the best way to, to accelerate the process. Now, the power of the tribe comes from your vibe and vice versa. So I'm going to encourage you to join a like-minded group a mastermind. I might even have one for you if it's the right one for you. But listen, the bottom line is you need to get with like-minded people. People are on the same path because it's going to accelerate your process. Napoleon Hill wrote a book called Think and Grow Rich, one of the best books. I read it every year, by the way, one of the best books of all time. And one of the things that he noticed in these success principles was the power of a mastermind group. When you put two like-minded individuals together, you create a third mind. And you may have done this if you've ever collaborated on things with people. You've created another mind that you're almost like, where did this come from? Where did these ideas come from? We're in such flow. Time stands still. All those great things that you hear about with flow. And so people around you are attracted to your consistent energy. So if you've got maintain that consistent energy, you will attract more of it into your life with the people that you attract. Your tribe influences your thinking and behavior. And if you want to attract different people, you've got to change the way you think. you got to change the way your heart resonates right the way your soul is very important to do that if you want to change your tribe which i recommend you do how do we do this well research shows us by visualizing we can put ourselves into a certain situation that is more beneficial for us so if we take the time to think about it to visualize it to to see it see it to feel it to hear it to think it to be there with it it's going to change what we attract into our lives. I can tell you that there was a time in my life, actually fairly recently, that I wanted to be part of a local music band. I started playing music on my own, playing a little bit of piano and keyboards and things like that. All of a sudden, I went to some party and I met a person who's a guitar player in a big band. He used to be in a big band. And he said, you know what? We should start a little group. 
And every Tuesday night we sit around, we jam and we start a group and now we're going to be playing together. And it brings back all those old memories of when I used to play in bands. And so by being proactive in my visualization, I became proactive in my turning that visualization to, into a realization, right? And that's because there's something in the brain scientifically called the reticular activating system. I call it the RAS, but the reticular activating system is basically like a tuner. The example that most people use with this is, you know, let's say you go out and you buy, you know, a Honda. All of a sudden, after you start driving around your Honda, you're like, hey, there's a Honda just like mine. Hey, there's another Honda. You start to see them. And before you didn't see them at all, unless you were tuned into it. The same thing happens to what we want in our lives. The same thing happens to the people in our lives. If we can start to tune into those things, our RAS starts to pick it up and it brings those things in and attracts them to us. And we can put together something really amazing. That's how you can visualize and build those connections. And I, again, I, you know, I think you can join a community and that will help you refine and redirect your energy into the direction you want it because you're going to be around like-minded individuals and those like-minded individuals are going to get you and you're going to get them and you're going to feed off each other. It's amazing. And communities, because we're humans, we like community, like most animals, frankly, and communities foster growth. They foster understanding. They, they foster bonds and strong connections. I have a mastermind called the light circle and light circle has foundational principles. We start with magical self-connection. You have to connect with yourself. Like we've been talking about in this entire video, this concept means that you have to know what you want. You have to connect with who you are at your cellular level, but then we go into balanced abundance, right? And it's not just abundance in our wealth. We need abundance in our health, our relationships, our travel, our soul, our time. We need balanced abundance in our lives. We don't want to be just really healthy. Right? That's great, but we're really broke at the same time. We want to have it all. So balanced abundance is important. Fulfilling travel because we get to explore things around the world. And if we get to explore them with the people that get us and we can create magical stories and bonds, man, that's what life is really all about. If you're into travel and I am, that's a big thing for me. And I encourage you to do it a bit if you can. Profound spirituality, connecting not just with yourself, but connecting with your creator, your God, the universe, source, whatever it is for you, but having that practice, that ceremony, that belief, that system, that ritual to help you get there. Pure relationships is part of our community, part of our foundational principles. Relationships are really important, and we realize how important those are. And then when we get into a community setting with like-minded individuals, we see that. And then youthful health, having youthful health. We want to be around a while. We're not really here that long, so we might as well make it really good. And so we want to feel really great and have that great vitality. So listen, that's the quick commercial about Light Circle. Bottom line is, you know, your vibe attracts your tribe and your tribe attracts your vibe. So take those principles that I just laid out here. Be positive and go out and get it. See you on the next one. Hey, it's Mark Yegi, founder of Light Circle. And if you want to be productive in your life, you've got to get a hold of my daily productivity planner. Now, it's not this whole book. It's just one of the sheets from this book. The whole book is awesome, but just the sheet is really the foundation of what we do. And it's how I get tons and tons of stuff done every week, including writing books and making videos and running hedge funds and all the other stuff that I do. You've got to get this daily productivity planner if you want to massively improve your success. So click on the link below or somewhere on this page, download the thing for free, you put in your email address, we'll send you the link, and then you can start filling it out right away. By the way, after you do it, I give you a little video on how to fill it out because it's got all these really cool tools on it that are really going to massively help you with your productivity. See you on the inside.